This is a powerful poem, and Blake's words are chosen to shock us. There are several examples of emotive words and powerful images as this personal view of the suffering of the people is hammered home to us, partly through repetition, but also through the building intensity of the lines. The horror of the ideas in the final stanza in which the oxymoron of the marriage hearse is made even more powerful by the plosive sounds B, P, of the preceding words, blights with plagues. And certainly Blake's readers at the time would have recognised these as biblical references, making the message even more hard-hitting. However, as I said earlier, the poem begins with a sense of melancholy and builds up into this passion. The repetition of words in the first stanza ensures that we understand the narrator's mindset. The word chartered suggests that the city is controlled and rigid. He's not walking in a free, open field, but a confined, rigid, mapped out area. The city is regulated and not well. This suggestion is reflected in the use of the word ban in stanza three. The speaker uses words such as chartered, ban and manacles, reveals his belief that society metaphorically imprisons people. Suddenly it becomes apparent that the thoughts, pressures and ideals of society are under scrutiny here. In the opening stanza, the repetition of the word mark three times shows us that this is not a travelogue. We can almost imagine the narrator's fist hitting the table. This powerful use of repetition in stanza two, anaphora, continues this sense of the voice getting more and more angry and passionate. The fist bangs louder. The opening of the final stanza, but most, shows us that he is not finished yet. The worst is to come. <laughs> 